A match between two teams from the same division may not have looked the most eye-catching tie in round one, but Bournemouth and Tranmere came up with a terrific 90 minutes. Liam Feeney set up Josh McCoy in the first minute and that set the tone. Three minutes later, McCoy again scoring. The teams have already met in the league this season. Bournemouth won that one 3-0 at Prenton Park. And they'd matched the scoreline after just seven minutes as Mark Pugh joined in the fun. But it was never likely to finish there. And Tranmere set about finding an unlikely way back. Aaron Cresswell's free kick took a deflection to make it 3-1. And by half-time, Tranmere were the team with the momentum, thanks to Ian Goodison's header. There was no let-up in the pace of the game in the second half. And when Ian Thomas Moore scored to make it 3-3, it was anybody's guess who'd finished the stronger. Ultimately, Bournemouth had the trump card in the shape of McCoy. He completed the first senior hat-trick of his career to put the home side back in front. And heading for victory, particularly when Feeney scored an excellent fifth. Bizarre game at Bournemouth Tranmere. Eight mm. goal thriller doesn't quite cover it. Three mm. up, three yeah. up in seven minutes, Bournemouth. Seven minutes, three up, and uh, some good goals there as mm. well. This one, I think, to make it three nil. It's Mark Pugh. I mean, that's a great strike. Goalkeeper's got no chance with that one. Fabulous, fabulous strike. And I think after Cresswell puts that one in, Sean Jalal, the goalkeeper, bamboozled by maybe a little deflection there, whatever. But after that, you're thinking there may be. Maybe a way back for Tranmere. They got their second just be before half time. They're making it 3 3 just after that, but nonetheless, Bournemouth coming out on top in the end with a couple of very classy finishes. Yeah, uh, it was, I think, seventh against 20th in League One. Les Parry uh, said he didn't want to go there and be defensive. <laughs> well, after, after seven minutes when they're 3 0 down, he might have thought, well, perhaps I was a little bit too offensive. <laughs> I mean, he's done, a, he's done a good job there. I know they're struggling this year, but he kept him up last year, didn't he? I mean, he did yeah. a good job to keep him up. I mean, physios seem to be the, the, the managers of the future, don't yeah. they? You've got um, Ian Atkins at. Um, Nigel Atkins. Nigel Atkins. Yeah, and we'll there's Parry there, so it's the way forward. Could be. The rich promise of teenage wonder kid Dale Jennings illuminated a drab affair at Prenton Park. The 17-year-old scored the only goal of the game on the hour mark. It was his fourth in the league this season and it will only enhance his burgeoning reputation. The Pilgrims didn't offer much, although a goalmouth scramble saw Tramier's John Welsh clear off his own goal line and Curtis Nelson blazed the rebound over the bar. That's three league wins out of four for Tranmere. I've been speaking to a couple of Tranmere fans this week uh, and they've been getting really excited by Dale Jennings, the 17-year-old. I would imagine you would. I kept, I kept looking at this going, shoot. Sh no, shoot. Come on then, shoot. Oh, what a great goal. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, only someone, who, his way only, yeah, only someone who hasn't played for, you know, who's just broken it would have kept going like that. You know, someone, an old pro would have got, got rid of it, got his shot <laughs> off straight away. Fantastic finish and you can understand why. You know, there is, there's a lot of people who are very, very interested in what's happening. Yeah, right. four goals from nine starts. Even yeah. Ian Thomas Moore is waxing lyrical about him. Let's get in. Jennings, Mendy, in towards Shuomney. Shuomney inside the centre circle as well. He's got Thomas Moore on this near side. Thomas Moore, chance to run the goal area. Thomas Moore decides about the shot, then decides to clip the ball in. Laverty can't quite get there. Shuomney does and scores on the volley. Enoch Shuomney. It was a great break by Tranmere. He started inside the centre circle, Ian Thomas Moore with a run, he checked, thought about the shot, changed his mind, sent the cross in, and then when Notts County didn't quite deal with it.